Have you ever had the issue in iMovie where you disconnect your camera or eject your SD card too quick and then you get a horrible little symbol come up showing the camera sign in the bottom of your video and you can't export it even if you try and re-import the videos. Well, I've had it too many times and I'm going to show you how I fix it in this movie today. <laughs> So the first thing you need to do is make sure you're in the projects menu and you do that by clicking the projects button in the top left. We're then going to go to file, open library and new to create a new library. Call it whatever you want. I'm illustrating it by saying fix camera import issue as is the subject of this video. You can then go ahead, open that library up by clicking file, open library and then choosing the library, whatever you just called it. You're then going to want to click on the event that's below that library. It will be the same name as today's date and import media and select the files that were previously showing in your event as a camera icon file missing. You're then going to have to wait for these files to import, which may take some time. I've sped it up just for illustrative purposes, but you're going to want to wait for that little dial in the corner to spin all the way around and then for the message to show up showing that the import has completed like that. When that's done, you can close, select those files and drag them across into your original event. You'll see this time they've dragged in fine and that camera icon has gone from the corners, which it has. And if you don't believe me that this works, I'll just scroll through my media now so you can see it's all nice and free from that camera missing icon perfect now you can go ahead and share as you would have done normally for example share and to YouTube but uh, I'm guessing you already knew how to do that uh, so that's why you're here obviously the share file process does take a while so I've again sped it up but once it's done you can come back and remove the library that you've just created I'm going to do that by right clicking and close library. You can see that's now closed and yet the media is all still there in the events. So I'll just minimize iMovie for a second, then move the library that I created to bin and empty the bin. Open iMovie back up. You can see that that camera icon is still gone from these files and so you can delete any duplicates that you've created in this process and anything that's not been used in your final video. And there you have it. That's how I fix the file camera import issue and also then clean up my library afterwards. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Cheers.